As we were working through our last section, one of the things that we were using, but didn't necessarily give a name to, was the concept of a limit. A limit, mathematically speaking, says as one quantity gets really, really close to a certain quantity, another variable gets really, really close to another quantity. So with that in mind, the intuitive definition of a limit rather than the precise definition of a limit, and quite frankly, intuitive is going to be better for us anyway. So what we write is the following. LIM, below it, x arrow a, f of x, is equal to capital L. We say the limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to L, or is L. Now, super key important word there is the concept of approaches, not actually equal to. We mean the following. I can make the value of f of x arbitrarily close, which is a fancy way of saying as close as I want to L by taking x sufficiently close, that is a certain necessary distance to A. Now, the best way that I can explain what's going on here is by considering a certain function. We'll just make this one, say, a straight line. But I'm going to put a hole in it. Let's say that this is the line uh, y equals x plus 2, but we're going to throw a domain issue right at x equals 3. A domain issue usually manifests in here as a whole. Now hopefully it's fairly obvious that if I could plug in x equals 3, we would wind up getting a certain value here. So if I could plug in 3, we could calculate what that would be. Now we can't actually plug in 3 though. So what we would consider doing is plugging in values that are really close to 3, thereby allowing us to plug them in here. So I could plug in values like uh, 2.9 or 2.99 or 2.999, or 3.1, 3.01, 3.001. Hopefully this is starting to look familiar from what we did in the previous section. So if I do plug in any of these values, I simply add 2 to the result to get the corresponding value of y. 4.9, 4.99, 4.99, 4.99, 4.99, 4.99, 4.99, 4.99, 4.99, 4.99, 4.99, 4.99, 4.99, 4.99, 4.99, 4.99, 4.99, 4.99, 4.99, 4.